Hello students, welcome in this video of English grammar. Today we are going to learn kinds of sentences. Before that, we will see in English language there are 26 alphabets A to Z, you know well. Now we study words. Let us read these words school, boys, girls, Gopal, he, she, it, they. Beautiful, strong, go, study, play, read, slow, carefully. So all these are words and we compose all these words by using the alphabets from A to Z. So there is a particular sequence S C H O O L. When we write this spelling, we do not make any mistake. So sequence. That is order is very important. So all these are words. First we have seen alphabets. Then we have seen words. Now we will see sentence. So what is a sentence? Let us see. A sentence is a group of words. We get complete sense from that group. When we read a sentence, we understand complete meaning. Complete sense means complete meaning. Here are some examples of sentences. First example, what are you, what are we doing now? So what is this? This is a question. Second, now we are learning English grammar. This is the answer of this first question. Third, keep silence. This is an order. Fourth, what a beautiful picture this is. This is an exclamation. Here you see exclamation mark. Above given are the sentences and we can understand the meaning. We get the complete sense. So what sense do we get? This is a question. What is the purpose of this first sentence? Purpose. hetu. Uddesh. What is the purpose of this first sentence? It is a question for asking something. We ask something. What is the purpose of this second sentence? We tell something. We declare something. Declaration. We want to tell something. This is the purpose of the second sentence. Here, keep silence. What is the purpose? To give order. And here what is the purpose? To express our feelings or emotions. And how are these emotions? Very strong feelings and strong emotions. So do you understand? Different aims, different purposes of these sentences. Purpose of first sentence, ask a question. Purpose of second sentence, to tell something, to declare something. The purpose of third sentence, order, to give an order or command. And the purpose of fourth sentence, expressing our strong feelings or emotions. In this way, there is a specific purpose behind every sentence. Let us see this table, kinds of sentences. First, first type of sentence, assertive sentence. They are also called as declarative sentences. Second is interrogative. Third is imperative. And fourth is exclamatory sentence. Now assertive sentence, that is declarative sentence. We want to tell something. We want to declare something. We are very happy today. This is our declaration. So this sentence is assertive sentence or it is also called as declarative sentence. Here, when do you go to school? This is a question. Do you like to study English? This is also a question. But what is the difference between these two questions? This is a WH question. When do you go to school? I go to school at 12 o'clock. I go to school at 7 o'clock. Or I go to school in the morning. Such type of answer you will get here. And here, do you like to study English? Yes, I like to study English. That means 
this is yes no type question so this is verbal question so students remember in the interrogative sentences there are two sub classes wh questions and verbal questions wh questions they begin with wh words like what when where which why who whom how how many how much in this way wh questions they begin with wh words and verbal questions they begin with a verb and they are they are also called as yes no type questions because their answers they are either yes or no third kind of sentence imperative sentence again there are two sub classes request and order order is also called as command please help me what is this this is a request go and clean the room what is this order you can say command so in the imperative sentences there are two sub classes requests and orders now fourth kind for type exclamatory sentence how happy we are so this is exclamatory sentence and at the end you will see this this is the exclamatory mark actually students if you see carefully how happy we are and here we are very happy today these two sentences look these two sentences they are having same meaning but their structure is different this is assertive sentence declarative sentence and how happy we are we are expressing strong feelings which feeling is there feeling of happiness so in the exclamatory sentence we are expressing our strong feelings and strong emotions oh we use this word to express our feeling so in this way we have seen exclamatory sentence now you can identify kinds of sentences once again revise a sentence that makes a statement or assertion is called a declarative or assertive sentence a sentence that asks a question is called an interrogative sentence a sentence that expresses a command or a request is called an imperative sentence a sentence that expresses strong feeling is called an exclamatory sentence so students try to remember these definitions now what you have to do now pause the video you can pause the video pause the video write down write seven sentences given in this slide and you have to do the activity let us see what is the activity the question is given now read the following sentences and mention its type first is done for you the first answer is given here india is my country so this is a sentence what type of sentence this is we have seen these four types assertive sentence that is declarative sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence so what type of sentence this is india is my country is it a question no it is not a question is it any request or order no it is not any request or order is it uh, exclamatory sentence no this is a declarative sentence this is assertive sentence we are telling something we are declaring something so the type of this sentence is assertive sentence or even you can write it is a declarative sentence it is also called as declarative sentence so do you understand now from sentence number 2 to sentence number 7 we have to read these sentences second where do you live third how kind you are fourth have you seen that movie fifth stand up there sixth please help the poor people seventh what a shame so once again read these sentences and as i have written this answer this is our answer type of sentence i have written this answer in the same way in the same way you have to write the answer you have to write the type of sentence below that sentence 
so will you do this activity so pause the video and write seven sentences and their kinds so do the activity now have you completed let us check your answers it was done for you india is my country that is assertive sentence second where do you live this is a question wh question so it is interrogative sentence third how kind you are here you see exclamatory sign and so it is exclamatory sentence how kind you are it expresses our feeling or emotion fourth have you seen that movie question mark what will be the answer of this question either yes or no so this is yes no type question so it is interrogative sentence fifth stand up there what is this it is an order so this is imperative sentence sixth please help the poor people definitely it is a request so what type of sentence it is imperative sentence and seventh what a shame again this is expression of our feeling and this is exclamatory mark so this is exclamatory sentence do you understand so in this way now you are able to understand the kinds of sentences and you can identify them now students you have to practice such type of sentences and from your textbook you have to write 10 or 15 sentences and write their kinds or types Thank you for watching the video. You can refer different types of grammar books for further studies. So continue your studies. Best of luck. Bye.